personal finance expert and me vest founder leslie ann scorgy joins us on canada now and leslie ann your latest article in the star discusses the payoffs of going back to school post pandemic well and hasn't everything changed what you thought you loved about your work pre-pandemic may have changed also the workplace has changed so perhaps your workplace went totally digital maybe it's really far behind you might be in this position where you're thinking it's time to like retool your skills and get into something different also, you may be dreadfully unhappy with the work that you are doing, which is a good indication that you might want to go back to school. Yeah, and now's the time. Like we have been given over the past year the gift of time to evaluate where we are, to evaluate our surroundings, our workplaces. And, you know, uh, if if it's uh, come down to, all right, I, I think I got to up my game here or pivot in some way, then now's the time to have figured that out. I totally agree. So here's the awesome part about it. And it's speaking from financial perspective. We know that those who take the time to invest in their uh, educational upgrades almost always see a payoff. It's because of two factors. Number one, they end up being way more passionate, typically about the new career that they've chosen. And when you lead with passion, it, dollars do tend to follow that. But also, if you're doing that back to school thing, you are probably doing it to do an upgrade on your income. So you're going to see it in, you know, uh, when, when you actually hit the workforce again with your new skills. Mm. Tell us uh, about the lifelong learning plan. So I absolutely love this plan. It's actually where you borrow money from your RRSP, which is very rare to be able to do that and not have any tax uh, tax implications. So this plan allows you to borrow a total of $20,000 from your RRSP and um, your annual withdrawal limit is $10,000. So what's so cool is you can use this money, no tax implications again, uh, for your training, your spouse's training, your common law partner's training. And the best part is you can do it over and over again. Once you repay the money, which you do have 10 years to repay the money back into your RRSP, you get to use the plan again. And uh, all you got to do is replenish it. So, you know, you're looking at many ways to, to fund school. And I'd say if you're going back as an adult, chances are you have money in your RRSP we're at a very high point in the market where hopefully your RRSP has grown nicely in value. So it might be a great idea to, to take some of that money and, you know, rather than having traditional investments, use that money to invest in your education. Yeah. It's, a, it's certainly a, an idea worth exploring if you're looking into going back to school. Now there are scholarship opportunities out there and we've talked about that in the past, if you're willing to put the work in, there's there's money to be had there. There's millions of dollars of scholarship money for returning students that is left on the table every year. They have evidence of this and just hot off the presses, Y Connick did a study very recently that said, we're talking over $10 million of money left on the table. Wow. And it's because students aren't bothering to, to do the application process fully and complete their applications. So I am a re the recipient of scholarships for both my undergraduate and graduate studies. Uh, I, between all of the scholarships I applied for, received over $30,000 worth of scholarships. Wow. And believe me, I did not have the best marks. I was not, um, I, I mean, I, I'd say I was a good citizen, but it's not like I was doing anything extremely remarkable. But what I did do was I completed my applications. <laughs> and so when we look at scholarships, I really think especially if you've got some downtime right now invest that time in like um developing your profile on one of the scholarship aggregator databases uh which i'll list just a couple uh to help get you started so scholarships canada wyconic scholarships 
the Scholarship Partners Canada. Those would be like three very reputable sources that you can go develop your online profile. And the more, um, you know, specific you are with your profile, the better they can render back opportunities for scholarships to you. So great way to, you know, great way to spend your time and maybe get some money. Yeah, well, and that's how you have to look at it, because you might be looking at it going, well, I don't have time for that. No, act as if you're getting paid for that time, because if you put the effort in, you very well could be. Now, what about student lines of credit? Where do you stand there? So I used to be uh, the one dishing caution around student lines of credit because they are such a free and flexible tool. I shouldn't say free. They're a very flexible tool where you can dip in quite freely. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> and um, so here's the scoop is right now, the rates of interest for our lines of credit, for student lines of credits are particularly low. And uh, even today with the Bank of Canada saying they're gonna hold this low rate for a little while longer, this is excellent. So it means students can dip into a line of credit and borrow money at a drastically reduced rate from even a few years ago. So here's my caution though, is if you're going to do a student line of credit, you do have to pay it back. You are going to be responsible for the interest uh, whilst going to school, but you know, don't overdo it. Just use it for your tuition and books and try, try not to accumulate extra debt. Yeah. It, it could ease the burden, uh, you know, right, right off, uh, off the bat of paying for school. Um, you know, if you um, are working, uh, but you want to further your education, if you can continue to work, uh, during uh, your continued education, uh, you can pay for things as you go, which would be a tremendous benefit. I, I'm a big believer in this. I did it myself uh, during my all my studies. I always worked. At, actually, it was for me a social connection too, as as well as a financial connection. So yeah. it allowed me to just to have some friends. And I get it, like the pandemic has kind of put a stop to, you know, the physical interactions in the workplace, but um, there's no reason why you still can't get out there and work, save, pay as you go. If you are doing some savings, uh, do allocate a portion of your paycheck on payday into an account that is not linked to your debit card so that you cannot accidentally spend it when you are, you know, as at a, at a new shop that has just reopened. You want to yeah. protect that money. Uh, looking at uh, continued education, would you say it, it, it warrants tapping into your savings or uh, going to your family and saying, hey, can I get a loan interest free? Absolutely. So we have seen the rise of intergenerational giving amidst the pandemic. And I think it is one of the most beautiful trends, one of the silver linings that's come out of the pandemic. And it's because it's helping families like uplift all of the members of the family. So when we talk about investing in education, it's probably one of the very best ways that you can gift money to your family and see the results, like really see that payoff. So my advice here is ask your family, see if they're willing to, to, to help out. And then maybe you, you do a split where you pay for it partly with your savings and then partly with them, with yeah. theirs. It's it's worth exploring. Absolutely. Going back to school is a, a large investment, Leslie, and in time uh, as well as money. And, you know, one would think that if you do it right, it could really pay off as a, a long term investment in yourself. It totally is. It's a way to get happy and get some more money in your bank account, especially if you're doing what you're passionate about and you're, you're really focused on your studies. Go for it. Yeah, well, check out MeVest.ca, personal finance expert, MeVest founder, Baby Hank's mom, Leslie Ann Scorgy. Leslie Ann, we'll do this again in a week. Thank you Sounds so much. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as 